This is a demonstration video um, done by POS Nation of Aldelo for Restaurant Software. We're doing this video because if you've been to the POSNation.com website and checked out uh, or downloaded the Aldelo for Restaurant Software trial version to test it out, uh, the demonstration version uh, has table layouts. It looks like it should be used for a dine-in table service restaurant, but the software has many configuration options, is easily configurable, and can be configured quite nicely for a coffee shop in a lot of different options that really lend itself very well to this. So we're going to demonstrate today um, a demonstration database made uh, for one of our customers in a coffee shop. We've done a lot of coffee shop installations. Um, in this particular case, um, and there are many other configuration options we're not going to be able to show today, but we're going to show as many as we can in this, this demonstration. You can see here that we have this set up with uh, a menu of uh, mochas and cappuccinos and whatever they want. Um, I'm going to ring up here a small mocha, and it comes up with options for uh, you know whatever they want, soy milk, uh, organic milk, or whipped cream, or whatever they want to do. Let's say they're going to get there's a second person that's coming in and they're going to get a cafe latte um, and they want to have, I don't know, amaretto or whatever choices. And these are all configuration options that we can put on these. Uh, so we can have a cappuccino with nonfat milk and uh, we could put an option on here for decaf or regular or however we want to do. And if you'll notice over here, we have options for uh, cashing out the transaction. Total on the transactions, $8.95. If this is a cash transaction, um, we can just hit eight ninety five right here. It'll automatically cash out the transaction, figuring we have even change. The dollar amounts here will change as the transaction gets bigger. They are the most logical, next highest logical tender for this transaction. So since it's eight ninety five, the next highest logical tender is nine dollars, and the next highest logical tender is, is ten after that. And if we kept on adding more items, these numbers would keep on increasing. If we want to pay with a credit card, we can just hit settle and pay with a credit card, either internally within the system, or we can use an external credit card terminal, whichever you prefer. So if you have a terminal already and you want to keep that, you can use that, or we can run this through our system as well. And of course, we can do other drinks. There's other menus here. We've got pastries and, and cheesecakes and whatever other items you want to do on there. We can have up to 20,000 items on here very easy to do. So I'll cash out this order. This is, uh, they give us a $10 for that $8.95. See our change is $1.05. And we have in here a frequent diner track. Frequent diner track would allow us to keep track of this customer. So we can tell the customer, hey, if you spend uh, $100 with us, we're going to give you a $10 credit. Or if you spend $200, we're going to give you a $20 credit. Or whatever numbers that you come up with, that will give incentive to your customers to come back over and over again. Oftentimes, um, coffee shops give away buy 10, get one free, and a lot of coffee shop owners have complained to us that when they give away 10 cappuccinos or 10 coffees, the customer come ba comes back and gets a, a, a large mocha, and you know their food cost goes way up on the percentage that they give to the customer. But if we give it on dollar amounts, if they give $100, then they get $10 back. Then we keep a standard markup, ten percent, you know, giveaway on this, so we can really keep track of those things and really make this work out. What you've just seen happen here is the access says enter access code. This is a security function that pops up for the employee if the if the cashier walks away from the from the register and is gone for thirty seconds, it pops up and 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 says you need to log back in before you get back in. That means another another employee can't come in there and steal money out of the drawer. This function can certainly be turned off for owners that don't like this function, but it is a, a quite a, a nice security function for customers who are security minded. Anyway, that is the demonstration of a simple database set up for a coffee shop uh, menu. There are many other videos that will be seen um, and will be available on our website uh, for inventory and reporting and customer loyalty, house accounts, gift cards, and all the other functions that you would be looking for in your POS system. You can find those at POS Nation. Of course, if you're looking for a full quote on a POS system, you can call 
us, or you can go to posnation.com and get receive a free quote, consultation, a further demonstration in front of our knowledgeable salespeople. Please call if you have any questions. Thank you.